today, I'm going to talk about finding your life purpose. So imagine this. How would you feel if you can do what you always dream of? Do you ever wonder there's more to life than following societal norms? Are we living our life purpose? Living our life purpose means doing something that brings deep meaning to ourselves. In the 1950s, my mother has her first child. At that time, women were expected to stay at home. But my mother was not made for that. Known as an adventurous and active woman, the changing of her role shocked her, and she slipped into depression. I was born in the middle of a struggle. The antidepressant drug at that time didn't help her at all. Living with a mother who has no room for her dreams was very hard for me. I was thinking about to find a way to help my mother, but I didn't know where to start. By that time, I was always escaped to my, to my neighbor's house. And then she had all sorts of books. She had astronomy books, anatomy books, and pathology books. I don't know why, but those books were calling me. So I put those big, huge books on my lap. I remember, actually, they were hardcover. And I also remember they were really big at that time, and my lap were really small, as you can imagine. I was turning all those pages, and I was so fascinated by that. And I also remember that my neighbors have children, and they were playing around, and I was still looking at those books. I started to figure out that my meaning, my life purpose, was about healing. But I didn't know yet. I could not blame my mother, because at that time, society rose was this way. After a while, I start to think about, this was my passion. This was my life purpose. But actually, I could not experience it this way at six years old. What is a life purpose? What does it mean? It means that doing something that brings deep meaning, but not also meaning, but also joy, and also inspiration, you find ideas that others don't, just by doing something that you feel so fulfilled. Sometimes you have intuition, different than others. People are living your life purpose. When they are so passionate about what they do, they get involved in projects that others don't. And sometimes they create something new, that experience, that create a better world. Living our life purpose is something that it creates so big joy in your heart. Today, I want to say to you that living our life purpose is the most important thing. Do we have all a life purpose? Well, I believe that we are born with our special gift. And by using those gifts, you expressing yourself. By expressing yourself, you create joy and energy around you. Imagine if you don't express your life purpose or your gift. By continuing your pathway, who is it constant to your life purpose? You will become to feel tired, sometimes overwhelmed, sometimes you experience burnout or depression. 
And sometimes you can experience physical issue. So how do we get there? How come? Well, we get there because at the early age, out in our childhood, our family, culture, and society pressure us to go on certain path that is not consistent to our life pur purpose. What happened? Well, you start to be disconnected to your true self. How do you know that you're not on your life purpose path? Well, you start to feel unhappy. You find that something is missing or something is not quite right. By the time you experience that, sometimes people reach the middle crisis. According to Oliver Robinson, a psychologist, he explained that middle crisis is a midpoint that express our dissatisfaction by unrealized dreams. This appears simple, but trying to find our gift is the best way to stay healthy. By the time you start to search for it, you start to question yourself, and then you say, what? It's matter. I have a great job, everything is fine, I have security, but you feel something empty. You feel dissatisfied, and you feel like something is wrong, but you don't know, because, you know, the years go by, and then children are growing, and your career is going on, but at some point, you still feel that missing piece. How do we find our life purpose? Like I said before, you have to figure out that you're not happy. When you reach that point, you can start to slow down and reflect and ask yourself what I am passionate about. What makes me happy? What I excel at? If you think that you won't find any answer, well, that's not true. Everybody has a life purpose. You will get the answer at some point. And then maybe you will feel, mm, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes it will derail you, and you will say, oh, that call is unrealistic. It's unaffordable. Or it's too much of a change. Another way why we are losing our way, it's about making changing in our life. It's scary. And also, we don't know how to deal with uncertainty. Do you? Nobody know. Nobody taught me. And I think that everybody here, or even me at some point, I avoid uncertainty. Well, reaching your life purpose is reaching also uncertainty. Over the years, my mother could not express her life purpose. And she be, she's manifesting depression from the age 25 to her passing at 55. I assume today that I'm privileged to have found my life purpose. In fact, by experience, her life and my life and her family, it shaped me. And I find a way to heal people. So my passion is healing. I didn't have any role model in my immediate family. But nurses and doctors, and also Mother Teresa, inspired me. I remember those books, 
that was looking at. Especially one book, is still today I'm thinking about it, it's a tetralogy book. Tetralogy is a science about bird defect. It's still inspiring me. Over the years, I tried to reach out, what is my life purpose? I knew it was healing, but in what way? So I study psychosociology, homeopathy, all those alternative fields. But I was not there yet. It was only the stepping stone to reach my true calling. When I study osteopathy, I knew that was arrived. That was my true calling. Despite my family opposition by following an alternative path, I knew that when I was studying osteopathy, I feel so joy. I feel like I was at the right place. I feel like I was reaching my true self and especially that I could heal people naturally. That was my calling. How do we get there? How can we reach that? Well, you have to keep a journal. Write down your dreams. No matter what dream you have, it could, even if it sounds silly, you never know where it can lead you. Ask yourself the important question. What is my life purpose? What makes me happy? What I excel at? What I feel fulfilled at? And by doing this, thoughts will bring to you your mind. And listen to those thoughts. Feel it. Feel it as you say, oh my God, I feel so great. Keep on listening. And persistent will pay off. Today, I practice osteopathy. And I never feel that I'm working. I even today go to Switzerland following a course to treat children with difficult condition. So I know it's possible today to overcome our past and to find our true self and to make it happen. And when you hear the call, listen to it. By listening to it, you might be frightened because you will say, oh my God, this is too big, too much. But I can reassure you that when you listen to your call, the universe will conspire and will open doors and you will see you're gonna be helped in the various ways. I believe that if you choose your path, you will not just express in your own gift and you're pleasing yourself or be so happy, but you will flourish. And at that point, you will create a better world. Nature always finds a way to blossom. Be prepared. Get ready for that great adventure. Thank you.